it is a lovely day. enjoyed. Hopefully we uh, have some luck here this morning, but welcome in everybody. This is my walks in paradise. We're doing a little fishing today, father-daughter time. She moves away to college in a couple days, so she wanted to go fishing one last time. You guys have been bugging me to see us go fishing, so here you go. Enjoy. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in everybody. This is my Walks in Paradise. If you like fishing, double tap the screen. Maybe we'll do it more often for you. Just going through shrimp. Pretty quick over there. <laughs> this is New Pass in Estero Bay. Leads right out to the Gulf of Mexico right there. To the right is the Dog Beach. Normally she beats me. She doesn't even know what she's doing, but she normally beats me. Low tide is at like 10 30 ish. Sometime around there. Welcome in, everybody. This is my Walks in Paradise fishing edition. Because you know you guys wanted me to do it. You can copy and paste the link in my profile. That'll take you to my link tree. You can find me on all platforms. Different ways you can support me and my efforts here. Even my uh, Amazon wish list is on there. Check it out. Love the view. Great morning. Thanks. Make the boss. Good morning, scrolling by to say good morning, and I hope your day is blessed. Thanks a lot, sunflower. You have a great day too. Love to see you fish. It's so calming. Yeah. Got a couple guys that. Uh, <laughs> good morning, Black Betty OG. What's up? Hope you had a good sunrise this morning. If you didn't sleep in. But uh, we got here pretty early, but then the. Uh, I like to fish right over where that guy is. He snuck in there while we're getting set up. It was Bibi. 
beautifully big. Yeah, it was beautiful in my neighborhood as we were leaving this morning, but sure not as spectacular as yours. So she's using live shrimp. I'm using a live pinfish. I'll cast mine out a little farther. In a little bit. Thanks for the fire. Appreciate you. Everybody check out Black Betty. She does a great job on her live streams. It is, Ann. This is Southwest Florida. Um, this is Estero Bay. Uh, right on the border of Bonita Springs, Fort Myers Beach. And uh, it leads right out here into the Gulf of Mexico. Over this way. This is New Pass. Yes, we're doing some fishing. You're in Estero now? Nice. Yes, my daughter leaves for college on Friday, and she wanted to go fishing one last time. And uh, a lot of people have bugged me for quite a while to do some fishing on here, so here we go. Hopefully we catch some. Tide is going out. So we'll see. She'll probably catch something. She always beats me. So good morning, everybody. Hit that uh, follow button, be part of the Bob Squad, if you don't mind. Double tapping the screen, sharing this out. When you're in here, we'll be here for about three hours doing some fishing this morning. You keep losing them? Might want to go out a little farther. Those might be smaller ones. Mohammed, thanks for following me on Instagram. Uh, you guys can copy and paste the link in my profile to find all my platforms that I'm on. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Betty. Appreciate you. Thanks for sharing this out. Thought those buildings looked familiar. Yes. <laughs> Over there in Coconut. Are you near the pink shell? No. Uh, about 20 minutes from here, probably. 15, 20 minutes north of here in that direction. We're by Lover's Key State Park. But this is the south end of Fort Myers Beach, all the way south into Bonita Springs. All right, I got to reset here with this guy. So again, this is what I, I use for the bigger fish here. That's a pinfish. And uh, I hook them through the bottom of their mouth in the opening, so I actually don't hook them. And that way, if they get away, they're free to live another day. And at the end, when we're done, we don't save any of the stuff. We throw it back, including the minnows. Shrimp that we have. Whichever ones are taken. A fish. Somebody followed me on Instagram. Oh, she might be hooked, stuck. You might want to tighten your drag a little. She's going to lose that. Nice. Thanks for sharing the live, everybody. I do appreciate it. Happy Tuesday. Happy Taco Tuesday. Hopefully it's Fish Taco Tuesday here in Southwest Florida. Hopefully some sheep's head taco. Ooh, that was a huge fish that just jumped out there. Did you see that? Massive fish just jumped out there. That was a big one. I'd like to catch one of those. Taco Tuesday. Fish Taco Tuesday, hopefully. Yesterday was Manatee Monday for anybody that was in the live stream. Uh, it's mating season apparently, and I got out in the water 
right by about seven or eight of them for about an hour and 20 minutes. It's pretty cool. Stay tuned for highlights of that. Is that the 41 bridge? No. This is New Pass. Good morning, Sarah. Tacos do sound good, I know. Today's a good day for that. This is Estero Bay, a new pass leading out to the Gulf of Mexico right here in southwest Florida. My father-in-law lives in Estero, love to go to Lover's Key. Yeah, that's great. It's right over there. And that's the dog beach to the right here. What's up, Blue? My father-in-law lives in Estero. Yeah. I haven't been to Sweet Melissa's yet. I almost stopped there for the key lime pie on the stick the other day. All right, let's see if my daughter can find me hook up with a mangrove snapper or something here to get it started. How far from, how far from what? Sorry. I only got so many hands today, so it'd be hard for me to go back. Check your comments. I guess I may want to go to Florida like your videos. Oh, thanks. Oh, good to see you, redheaded Jeep girl. Oh, oh something just spooked my minnow. Good morning, Gerald. No, there's other hooks in the bucket too. Key lamp pie on a stick, yes. <laughs> it's like Jeff Dunham. <laughs> How far from Clearwater? Two and a half hours or so. I used to go deep sea fishing in the Gulf with my grandpa. Yeah, I love fishing. My daughter loves fishing too. I was out there on the pot on Sunday on the boat. <laughs> Good to see you be in my paradise with no service for a while. Missed your lives. That's all right. I mean, you did miss all the manatee yesterday. And I actually got in the water and went out and pretty far out in the water on the live stream. Uh, I've just had a couple uh, uh, spook my minnow. Just there's in that bucket over there is hooks. Key lime and coconut are good. Yeah. She's lost a few shrimp already this morning. But we just got started. Good morning. I can't wait to be there. I can't wait for you to be there either. <laughs> good to see you again, Mercy. And again, welcome in. This is my walks in paradise. We're doing a little fishing this morning here at New Pass. Should just be a matter of time before something happens. If not, we'll move over to the other side of the bridge. I make a coconut meringue pie that's about six inches tall. Delicious. Anything with coconut is all right in my book. Sometimes we get a lot of dolphin that come through here and manatee. So maybe we'll see a few this morning. Good morning, my favorite morning live. Ah, oh, thanks Leslie. I'm currently sounded by surrounded by trees and nature even more soothing. Mm, it's all good. It's paradise wherever you live. What's up, Toronto? You used to play hockey up there. What are you hoping to catch? Um, I would prefer, I mean, I'll probably catch a snook. Uh, I would prefer to catch some sheep's head, but I'm not, what I'm fishing with right now is to try to catch a little bit bigger fish just for the live stream. But uh, maybe a red, red drum or a Creval Jack, Jack Creval, you know, to each his own. Some people say it one way, some people say it the other. I might be one of those people. Uh, she's probably going to catch some mangrove stamper, but we love sheep's head. This time of year, it's not. Uh, the bigger ones aren't uh, this far inshore, though. Dolphins do flock to me, yes. <laughs> What's up, East Tennessee? Charlie, the teal, thanks for the uh, like on Instagram. 
I just looked up sheep's head fish today. They got human teeth. I know those molars are no joke. You don't want to get your fingers in there too. They crush crustaceans. <laughs> Take care, Ann. Have a great day at work. grew up here and moved from somewhere else. I'm from the Midwest. I've only lived here for seven years. It's a beautiful morning though. Darrow Bay, New Pass. Just a little father-daughter time doing some fishing. I was hoping to be there in September, but we'll be there in October, close to Halloween. Nice. think about Margaritaville. I don't have many thoughts about it, honestly. Some people aren't happy about it, some people are. What are those buildings there in the distance? Um, some of them are condos, some of them are hotels. But uh, one of them, uh, I believe, is uh, uh, Coconut Point Hyatt, I believe. So either condos or hotels. I just popped in. I'm unfamiliar with your post. Where in the world are you? This is Southwest Florida in the United States. This is Estero Bay. We're just doing a little fishing this morning. recommend a seafood restaurant there's so many um, I like skip 141 just a little hole in the wall they have great fresh seafood sounds like Australian to me <laughs> and I also like uh, Doc Ford's rum bar and grill turtle club is pretty good in Naples a lot of people like Coconut Jacks right down here in Bonita Springs. There's seriously so many places, though. So. You're welcome. Hope it's a great start to your day. Hope you have a great day. If you can, double tap the screen, share this out. You can copy and paste my link in the profile, and that takes you to my link tree. You can find all the platforms I'm on and different ways you can support me here on my walks in paradise. Being Benito with the girls this weekend, yeah. Coconut Jacks is pretty good. This is Estero Bay, Southwest Florida, Benita Springs, south end of Fort Myers Beach, which is right over there. 
That's Lover's Key State Park. Good luck. Oh, she caught one. Come on over. There was a manatee over there too? See, she's already beaten me. People literally spread their ashes out in the golf and turtle club. They love it so much. Yeah. So, little mangrove snapper. Oh, baby. Still, I'm up in the ranks now, Dad. Yeah, I might have to start using shrimp just to catch back up to you. Thanks. <laughs> One nothing. Daughter is up. Daughter is up. All right, I guess I'm going back over here because the manatee was over there. <laughs> Manatee, dolphin. I feel like I'm in another country right now, guys. It's pretty awesome. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Ah, she's beautiful, Dad. Look, seeing this. <laughs> you love seeing this? God bless her. Yep, she's always going to beat me. This is how this works. So she's the one that wanted to go. Thanks, Sarah. She's a good kid, too. Both my kids are good kids. I got lucky. This is the most precious thing. Thank you for being such a good contribution to the world. Hey, thanks a lot. You, you are the same. You're all right in my book. there's a little shade under here. Never got to have fishing moments with biological dad or stepdad. It's great bonding with your kids. Yeah, I love I love doing it. I really do. She loves it. Oh, there's a rainbow, guys. It's a rainbow in the clouds over on the other side of that island there. I hope it's coming through. It's very faint. There is a rainbow out there. <coughs> My dad taught me to fish in Crystal Lake, Illinois. And we did a lot of fishing in Michigan. You should be. My kids love fishing. I can't wait for the baby to be old enough to go fish, yeah? kayaks out there. Yes. They do a lot of kayak tours. Thinking of the kayaks and manatees all out. should be fun to watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and again, it's mating season for the manatee, so hey Kay. Some father-daughter time, and she can't hear a thing you say because uh, she's got one off of her ears. So she can hear everything. She <laughs> See, she's already talking smack. Thinking of the kayaks, man. But yeah, so yesterday on my live stream, I was in the water for an hour and 20 minutes with seven or eight manatee. I never got an official count, at least seven. And it is mating season. And uh, you don't normally see them all together like that. It's pretty cool. So whoever was in here, I'm sure you enjoyed. Kelly, thanks for the like on Instagram. Remember folks, you can double tap that screen, share this out, your watch time and comments help me. You can also go into my profile copy and paste the link to my link tree and find me on all platforms but i challenge you to find me on at least one other platform today i'd love to see you guys pick me up on uh, rumble youtube or instagram i'm trying to get to a thousand on those 
and 3,000 on Clapper, where I also go live. I'll be live later this morning on Clapper. Yeah, the manatees were great. It was so cool. So cool. I did already post a video to Clapper of them, but I haven't clipped the highlights from the live stream when I got a lot closer. for those two I don't think today <laughs> may I ask how old your kids are please don't answer if you don't want to my daughter is 18 my son is 20 she'll be 19 next month he'll be 21 in December they are adults So still only the one mangrove snapper? Mm -hmm. Alright. But I just have one on and then we go. The last one. Some more big fish uh, jumping out there by the middle of the bridge. Nice cast. How's that reel treating you? Mm. It's okay. I think I need to tighten those. Drag. Turn it to the right a little. Thanks for sharing the live. She gets up by too much. I'm going to have to grab the other pole and start fishing with shrimp too. see some dolphin or manatee this morning. Welcome in everybody. This is my walks in paradise. We're doing some fishing today by popular request. You guys have asked for it for months now. So here we go. I finally got my poles relined and my reels relined. I'm starting to hear some dogs over at the dog beach now in the distance. And that's the Gulf of Mexico right out there. So gloomy in the Midwest, this makes me happy. Yes. And it comes with the territory in the Midwest. Lots of gloomy days. Uh, I used to have trouble with seasonally affected disorder or depression when I lived in Michigan. And uh, that went away uh, just a few months after moving to Florida. Used to live in Estero and then moved to Tampa. I love Estero. Hey, I was just in Tampa. I did a live stream from the... Uh, from Base Road Boulevard on Saturday and uh, walked on the world's longest continuous sidewalk and then we went to Raymond James Stadium and we're in the Hurt Suite which was awesome for the uh, Bucks game. Bivton, thanks for following me on Instagram. So Tampa Bay and Miami Dolphin game. Dog Beach would be my heaven. It's pretty cool to bring Puppy there one morning. fighting with her line over there.
chances. Or as long as continue sidewalk. Oh, I just lost it. Just that fast. A rare sighting of Bob, I know. Was that bait? That's usually the size. Good. That's a, yeah, that's a pinfish. There's Bob, yes. Thanks for the rose. Oh, I got a fish. I got a fish. I held the phone last time, that's when the fish started biting, so we'll see. Kayak from access at docks to the islands around New Pass. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, New Pass is pretty great. him in his belly. Look at that. Look at it. She hooked him in his belly. Oh, on, is that on his fin? He caught his fin. That's a little tiny mangrove snapper. Like two so, points for me. No, we're not doing that. You don't, you don't need any extra help. If you catch anything but a mangrove snapper, it's worth two points. How about that? No, I'm saying I have two points right now. Oh. <laughs> so if I catch a bigger fish, whoever gets the biggest fish, that's five, right? Yep. All right. And rare is three. I still have a shot then. Sorry, buddy. I'm trying to do that. Again, this is my Walks in Paradise Fishing Edition. Copy and paste the link in my profile. Find me on other platforms today, folks. Find me. Find me on one. Rumble or YouTube in 4K or Clapper where I'll be live a little later this morning. But you pick. Pick pick one. There's plenty to choose from. 
my walks in paradise one word lowercase double tap the screen share this out we'll be live for a couple more hours down here fishing Little baby mangrove snapper. Grow up to be a big boy someday. Uh. Alright, now I'm down to nothing. This isn't good. Pick up the face here. This is what? Is a rare, nope. a rare fish. <laughs> That's what I caught. It's gross. Could easily be coral. It's something. Gator. There are gators in here. This is New Pass, Southwest Florida. Bonita Springs, Fort Myers Beach area along the beach here. Tuesday here. Hold on. Check my other line here.
you to nothing. <laughs> really need a simple fish taco recipe. I like to blacken mine, so. So again, for the new people joining, this is Estero Bay at New Pass. We're doing a little fishing this morning. And my daughter is currently up three to nothing. Good morning, Mama Twins. Good to see you again. Look at her, she's just targeting the tiny fish because she just wants to win that bet sit here and pull up tiny fish all day long and then I'll, I'll get the one big one that's worth five points look she's got another one a little stinker all right sport of nothing none of them are keepers though none of them are keepers to nothing. Four to nothing. Oh. These little ones just pick those shrimp right off. again.
welcome in everybody we'll be fishing here for another hour and a half or so so enjoy the view
pinfish here in a second to these those guys move so I can get it out a little farther. Ever use worms for bait? We use a lot of them in Ireland. No, um, I mean people do use blood worms like up in like Pensacola area and stuff. Thanks for the hand heart, Shelly. Um, but no, I, I mean I did uh, freshwater fishing, a lot of night crawlers and worms and stuff. Good morning, Nelly. Good to see you. No, welcome in everybody. We're doing a little fishing this morning. My daughter is leaving for her college on Friday and uh, moving up to Orlando and she want to go fishing one last time. So, I mean, I can't say no, right? I know you guys have been bugging me to go fishing for a while. So, here we are. So, enjoy. Should I catch a good one? We'll show it to you guys. Thanks for being here. Copy and paste the link in my profile to find my link tree and find me on all platforms. My walks in paradise. One word, lowercase. Good morning on this Taco Tuesday. Heck yeah. Kendall, that was funny because yesterday was Manatee Monday. It's going to be Fish Taco Tuesday, hopefully. But yeah, I was in the water with uh, seven or eight manatee yesterday for an hour and 20 minutes on my live stream. Pretty cool. Oh yeah. I got one. I had one. Oh, I didn't lose them. I'm on the board. Oh, Hopefully. Man. Hopefully just one. <laughs> oh, wait, now? You just got on the board? Yeah, I just got on the board. <laughs> Put it on the board. Yeah. It's five to one. I'm only down by four fish. Or one big fish. Mangrove snapper. Mangrove snapper. Mangrove snapper. Tiny. But these guys have some pretty decent sized teeth. Yeah.
you. Wishing your daughter every success at college. Both have a great Tuesday fishing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. All right. Let's see if we can catch something now. So again, this is New Pass here in Bonita Springs, Florida. Just uh, on the other side of the pass is the south end of Fort Myers Beach. Dog Beach, Lover's Key State Park. It's a beautiful day. Now the tide is going out. Low tide is in a little over an hour. Fishing is a little bit better in here when the water is a little bit deeper, but... the different hotels and condos take people out by water taxi to that little private island over there only accessible by boat it's kind of nice hey hurricane good to see you hope everybody's having a great day this is Estero Bay here in southwest Florida <clears throat> leads right out into the Gulf of Mexico. This is brackish water here. A mixture of fresh and salt water from the Imperial River and Estero River. nobody's commenting right now we'll just go ahead and give you the widescreen view so you're definitely not supposed to go that fast um, this is a slow speed area when you get to, to the bridge here too in particular but there's a, there's a lot of manatee in here good to you and family I missed yesterday Good to see you. Yes, um, I'm sorry you missed yesterday. It was one of the best live streams I've had. Uh, on Clapper, I already posted one of the 4K videos. Uh, it's not in 4K, but one of my 4K footage I shot of the manatee yesterday. But on my live stream for an hour and 20 minutes, I was out in the water with seven or eight of them. Um, it's mating season, and uh, we got up close and personal with them yesterday. It was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Again, this is Astero Bay. My walks in paradise. Find me on Rumble. Find me on YouTube. Find me on Clapper, where I'll be live next. Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, Truth. Any of those places. Bye.
but you can also just copy and paste the link in my profile and uh, that'll take you to my link tree with links to every platform I'm on. You just click the link on the one you want. It'll take you right there. Awesome live yesterday. Yeah, you like that? It was fun being in the water. I'm actually going to have to get in the water a little more often on my lives. It was actually very refreshing. Only problem is I won't notice uh, anything in the water with me, typically. <laughs> I'm looking at the screen and your comments. And so. position my memo here. Current is taking it. Thanks for the wishing bottles, Shelly. Appreciate it. And again, folks, uh, I challenge you to find me on one other platform today. And if you haven't, uh, if it's a new app, new platform, use the same username as here. It makes it a lot easier for me to identify you. I have a, two people in particular that follow me on seven platforms, and uh, one of them has uh, six different names, so it's hard to keep up. <laughs> with that many different names. But welcome in, everybody. Hope you enjoy some fishing. So we'll be doing this for about another hour here on TikTok. And then uh, possibly switching over to Clapper, depending on battery life. Thanks for sharing the live out, Joyce, with so many people. Appreciate it. Your watch time, your comments, your little double taps or likes and your shares all help with the algorithms here. Same with the videos. If you can watch them till the end, give them a like, leave a comment or an emoji, share them out, hit that copy link button or save the video link. All those things help. And I do appreciate it. And for those of you new that are just joining us, uh, my daughter just caught another fish over there so she's up oh, what is that six to one now guys just got another smaller mangrove snapper <laughs> this is southwest florida right by the gulf of mexico this is brackish water here brackish folks brackish I got my uh, pinfish that's on here. Just got scared of something. We'll see what happens. He got really scared. That's funny. I'm looking at the same big cloud. <laughs> nice. The same big poofy cloud. There were some great ones this morning. It actually looks like it's raining right over there towards Fort Myers. But uh, when we got up and uh, got ready to go, there was some really cool poofy clouds out this morning. And uh, yesterday on the live stream, after all the manatee, we had a cloud that literally formed. Um, the live stream version is better than what I got afterwards, but it literally formed into what looked like a giant eagle. It's really cool. You're on West Terry? Nice. I didn't doubt that you were seeing the same one. Yeah, my kids went to um, Benita Springs Middle School once upon a time. So we were over Ontario a lot. Now that the uh, tide's going out too, it's getting really pretty. A really pretty aqua blue over there. That boat is heading.
that's where I just dropped off. <laughs> yeah. I play that game lots of times. I'm glad that's over. That's my last one heading to college right there on Friday up to Orlando. And uh, I'm excited about that. I'm excited I don't have to do that stuff anymore. <laughs> What's up, Steven? How you doing, brother? Doing a little fishing. How about high school? Did they like their school? Uh, yeah, they went to Estero. And uh, thankfully they did, because they were in the uh, IB program, or I mean the Cambridge program, sorry. And uh, they both got the 100% Bright Future Scholarship, because if you graduate with that degree, you automatically get 100% Bright Future. So that's worth looking into. I see, man. Catch anything yet? I've caught one mangrove snapper. My daughter, I think, just caught her sixth. She's only... She's only up five, but uh, largest fish also gets five points, so I'm still in it. <laughs> I've been trying to use this pinfish unsuccessfully. I have a couple spots, um, Big Carlos Pass, that I, I catch a lot of snook in particular, but sometimes jacks too. I've never used pinfish over here this first time. And then there's reds. Uh, Right over at Big Hickory Pass, down by where it spills into the Gulf on the mangroves. There's a lot of reds back in there. Oh, I don't know who the fishermen in the family are. Yeah. yeah. She doesn't know half of what I know, and yet she always wins. She's a lucky little sprite. This is taking the live stream into a whole new level, folks. <laughs> and one that could make you sick. I don't know. It's possible. But welcome in, everybody. This is a little father-daughter fishing time before she heads off to college. You guys have been bugging me for quite a while to fish on here. They always, people say, you really do fish, or you just say that. But yes, we really do. You've been looking for me, Kelsey? I wish you could have found me yesterday with all the manatee. I actually got out in the water and uh, got some close-up footage of them. It's pretty awesome. All right, I gotta reel this in. One second. Hey, I caught one, Morgan. I caught one. following me on Clapper. I've been looking for me. Yeah, you can copy and paste the link in my profile too. And that will help you find me on all my platforms. Have a great day everyone. Just dropped in fast before work. Have a beautiful day. You too. Thanks a lot. Take care. Oh, that water tastes so good. Alright, this is where I wanted to fish all along. So hopefully... This is where the magic happens, folks. I'm over by Longboat Key. Sure, Charlie. Phoenix, nice. This is Southwest Florida. This is Bonita Springs, right on the border of Bonita Springs and Fort Myers Beach. <clears throat> and I'm getting crushed by my daughter, Jim. It's six fish to one right now.
incidents here with walking away from my pole in the rod holder and then uh, the pole uh, and the rod holder being pulled out and watch um, a brand new reel and a great fishing pole go across the bay along with all those flip-flops um, I would expect to catch a snook but I wouldn't mind catching a redfish red drum or uh, a jack a little small tuna and uh, over there with my daughter if she could catch a bigger mangrove snapper we would take that they're delicious but we love sheep's head this time of year the bigger sheep's head typically are further out but uh, sometimes you could bump into one thanks Charlie yeah, that's Lover's Key State Park in the distance where the dog beach is, too. And uh, right there, this is where New Pass spills out into the Gulf, right over there. And my daughter wanted to go fishing. You guys have been bugging me for months to take you guys fishing, so here you go. Here you go. But she's currently caught six fish to my one. But it only takes one big one to get right back in business. Yeah, she's using live shrimp. I'm using live pinfish. I did catch my one fish using a shrimp. Can you see my comment? My comment looks shady. Yes, I see that comment. Somebody started following me, but it um, looks like an Arabic, so thanks on Instagram. Did you see all the birds I tagged you in, Jim? Thanks for the wishing bottles, Shelly. Hurricane. filming me. <laughs> a little stinker. She's a little stinker. Yes, cockatoos are from Indonesia. <laughs> I mean, they still don't hold a candle to Smurfy, but the Goldwing Macaw was pretty cool. Not as big as Smurfy, though. You know what, I'm gonna go grab another reel. I'll be sticking this in the garbage as long as there's nothing terrible in here. All right, be back for that pole. Hopefully that doesn't jump out of the garbage can. So many kinds of macaws. Oh, the Noceums must think it's getting late. Oh, it's getting dark. Might storm a little today. They've just showed up on my face. What's up, Noceums? All right, let me grab a shrimp. Be right back.
fish in the uh, shrimp bait bucket. Still in the garbage, sweet. <laughs> uh, the last pole I lost had my best reel. It was a brand new reel on it, just like that one. It's the best reel I have. So hopefully that doesn't happen to that one. Good morning. You need rod holders. I, I had a rod holder before, and it was all the way in the ground. I don't know what fish I caught. I walked away to. Uh, I think I went to grab something to drink or something, and. Uh, the guy at the pool was laughing. He's like, yeah, the whole thing just shot right out of there. And you could see it going across the bay. I will send to you. Thanks, Kelsey. Let's see what we can catch here, folks. feeding along the shoreline of this island over here. It was huge, whatever it was, so I'm assuming it was Tolfa. Let's see, I see something over there, though. Hmm. Oh, I heard a dolphin, I think, over here. And it's starting to rain. Pretty sure I just heard a dolphin. Yep, he is right here. Right here. It's right by that post he was just right there. Oh, here he comes right at me. What's up, brother? You're on Instagram or Facebook? Instagram. Rumble, YouTube, Twitter, Truth, Clapper, where I'll be live next, probably. Twitch, where I do some static live streams from my yard sometimes or a storm. Oh, here he is. He kept moving too fast on me. He's out by my shrimp right now. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hopefully he comes back in through here. That's what I saw feeding up on the, the island though. It must have been a uh, Dolphin getting something big. Okay, I'll find you. I can send them on there. Yeah, Instagram for sure. Thanks a lot. Hope you have a good day, Kelsey. Don't hook a dolphin. They uh, they'll steal my fish if I catch something. But... You see the dolphin? She's rocking out. Oh no. All right, keep your eyes trained out this way. You might see them. <clears throat> There's a dolphin that just came through. Really? Yeah. Came right through right here.
you have a good day take care I said good morning but you were busy doing fishing <laughs> yes good morning beautiful day out here now that the rain is sprinkling a little bit out here and clouds are covering the big hot sun it feels pretty good so it can do fishing there it's not illegal uh, yeah and uh, <clears throat> Florida residents uh, get uh, free inshore or you know from shore fishing licenses so they're free so as long as you're a stated uh, Florida resident you can come out on the shores and fish whenever you like saltwater fishing that is what reel did I lose um, I lost a really good pen reel and a really good uh, ugly stick which are hard to get these days Kelsey Pastrana, thanks for following me on Instagram. See, she said she was going to do it, and she did. You do need a license, but you can get them free if you're a Florida resident. Oh my god, I typed so fast, the words come wrong. Sorry about that. Oh, don't worry about that at all. Panther, don't worry about that. I voice to text all the time, so... Even you'll see in some of my posts, they might not make sense because I don't catch it sometimes. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. Uh, I'm just spending some father-daughter time this morning. My daughter wanted to go fishing one last time before she moves to Orlando and goes up to college. And she's caught six, I believe, already to my one. Not to say a yes. Yeah, we uh, catch and release most fish, but if we caught something that's really good eating, um, we would keep it. There's the moon for you guys. Oh, look at all the rain coming my way. You can actually see it on the water over there. You can hear it. All right, I'm going this way. <laughs> I'm going this way before the rain comes. The rain is coming. It's crazy in Florida how you can see it like that and hear it. <laughs> it didn't, it really doesn't look like there's clouds that are gonna drop any rain either. Look at that, here it comes. Hey Connie, thanks Kelsey. I did see that you follow me on Instagram. I, I let everybody in here now too. You're a woman of your word. Teacher Bill, thanks for the like on Clapper. I hope I do too. <laughs> Can't hear your flip-flops. Heck yeah, John. Oh, I got a fish. Fish on. I think. I might have just lost my bait. Oh, maybe this will uh, spawn them to start eating again. What? Maybe they'll start eating again now that it's raining. Did you bring a drink? Oh, yeah. You see my rod holder over there? I put my, I put my bowl in the garbage. I did. All right, so what have you caught, six? Eight now? Yeah. So it's eight to one? Okay. Isn't that nice to have a dad that lets you win at something? Yeah. At one thing. Just one. We are fishing. Love yellow tile, tile fish and the parrot fish. Ooh, I haven't had those. I have eaten shark steaks. They're good. Good fishing in the rain could be, but it is uh, going to be low tide here shortly, so we're in the pass. 
probably need to get out a little bit deeper to catch some of the bigger ones, but this is an easy spot. You could park. You're obviously under the bridge, and uh, which is good for the sun. And now the rain. Hey, well, you better catch up by now. I've been too busy. But I got another line out now, too, so I'm, at least I'm increasing my odds. Yes, Florida, Southwest Florida, Estero Bay, Bonita Springs, Florida, New Pass. And that's the Gulf of Mexico right beyond that part of the pass out there. So this is brackish water. Brackish, brackish. It is raining right now. Just a little bit. It's spritzed. You can see a little bit on the water, probably. How clean is the water? It's not too bad. I mean, this uh, water comes from the Imperial and Estero River, and then the Gulf is mixed in. But uh, not too bad. We're getting a bite here. Getting a bite, getting a bite. Come on. Yep, got him. Got him. Sounds like a little bigger one, Marvin. That's a good fish. Good snapper, probably. Maybe this is the largest one of the day, so hopefully I'll get a five-pointer out of this, and I'll be, it'll be eight and six. Oh, it could be bigger than the one you caught. There it is. Oh, he doesn't want him to come in yet, folks. He doesn't. Trying to break me off. That's a that might be a keeper. I don't know. The first one I caught looked bigger than that. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, that's definitely big. That's a keeper. Eight to six. So you can see their teeth. Pretty good sized teeth on these guys. Mangrove snapper. Oops. And they are delicious. These guys are good. I just don't feel like cleaning them. Not this guy anyways. So 
so that one's worth five points because that's the biggest one of the day. So now it's she. She still had eight. Was it eight including the biggest fish, or just eight in general? Eight in general. So yeah. So it's eight to six including my big fish. So I want to cut two. So what'd you think guys? Did you like it? Good job, Bob. Nice one, Bob. Got it. LOL. Yeah. It's a nice mangrove snapper. Actually, if I would have brought a cooler with some ice and stuff, I actually think I would have taken that one home. Hope you guys all got to see it all right. What is your favorite fish to keep eat? Sheep's head. Um, if I was down in the Keys, it would be hogfish. Love black grouper too. Or snowy grouper or scamp grouper. But you gotta go out further to get some of those. sharing this out you guys you can uh, copy and paste the link in my profile to find my link tree that's the links to all the platforms that I'm on Ooh, I just lost that fish. <clears throat> it's nice you just click on it but I encourage you to follow me on rumble or YouTube that's where I post my 4k content full versions of my walks or videos you might see or even um, I'm starting to do some replays of these TikTok live streams on Rumble and YouTube. I also go live on Clapper, where I'm going to go live next. From down here for a little bit. Looks like give Gerald a break. I don't know if he's retired, but he's, he works all the time in here as a pretty awesome moderator. So, shout out to Gerald in Georgia, brother. Thank you for your help. is amazing a lot of the times they uh, they sell you grouper here though uh, grouper sandwiches and stuff and it's really gag grouper still good but it's not black there is a difference and then the further out they have to go to get them the better they taste so like the scamp and the snowy grouper delicious now the sun's coming back out so this water is actually gonna Get some uh, turquoise blue and aqua blue colors going. Now that the tide is almost at low tide. I keep forgetting I'm a mod. I keep forgetting you are too, Jim. <laughs> I'm shocked that I haven't caught anything on that pinfish yet, though. So you guys like that fish? That was a good one. I'm gonna come check my other pole over here. There's a ballyhoo. Oh, I got hooked up on something here.
I gotta grab my other pole out of the garbage. <laughs> it was very nice, but it definitely copped and ate it. I love the snapper, yeah. Thanks for the wishing bottle, Shelly. It was very nice. I would have definitely kept and ate it. I love Snapper. I know, that one was tough. That was tough. I really, I mean, I didn't, I didn't plan on keeping really anything today. So, I know. I probably should have kept that one. But maybe I'll catch him again when he's a little bigger. But they are delicious. And I did want to have fish tacos today. <clears throat> yes, thanks a lot, Shelly and Rose. Appreciate it. Do I clean fish? Yeah, sometimes I do. Here's a little seashell for you. Little tiny shell. Tiny, tiny shell. I don't like cleaning fish, honestly. I'm not a fan of it. It's not fun. And I'm not very good at it. So if I'm not very good at something, I don't really like it. <laughs> Thanks for the TikTok, Rose. But now my, uh, the good thing is now my gimbal smells like fish and shrimp. So that's good. My gimbal's officially broken in now. I managed to go all this time over a year down here without uh, getting fish on the gimbal. What's up, Connie? This is Estero Bay in Southwest Florida. We're in Bonita Springs, Florida. Right over there is Lover's Key State Park in uh, Fort Myers Beach, that way. Gulf of Mexico is right out behind those pontoons. This is New Pass. Thanks for the wishing bottles too, Shelly. Got lots of bird activity. Ooh, we got a fish on. We got a fish on. Pound test. <laughs> I don't know. I was lucky for a while. And then you showed up. Good lord. I just lost a huge fish.
Thanks. I appreciate it. Thanks for the rose. Then you showed up. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, guys. I know, right? Yeah, start telling me how to fish.
try this again. Oh, we got the negative Kevin out of here. <laughs> oh, all right, that was a big fish. Bob would have liked to have seen that one. Yes, apparently it would have been a world record on the world's dumbest amount of <clears throat> monofilament test on a line fishing here in Florida. But I didn't see him catch anything, so I don't know. I just don't know, sir. I don't know. People sometimes. All right. I'll catch up on your comments while I wait for this next big fish. But that was a that was a tuna. That was a small tuna. Set the hook, set the hook, okay. Baby steps till Bob o'clock. Do you keep the fish or throw them back? Sometimes, and then you showed up, I know, right? What a jerk, what a jerk. Connie, thanks for sharing this out. <laughs> Just catching up with your comments. Like, talking in your backswing. Yeah, like, come on, dude. He just did two party fouls here. He went and started fishing where I had my fish already out for the last two hours. <laughs> then I moved it. Then you go and fish where I moved it. Uh, anyways, pretty sure he's going to grab your pole that was in the trash. I know. That's why I walked over there, too. That's exactly why I walked over there. I left my other pole down there. It was a big fish, Bob? Yeah, it was big. It was a good one. Someone walking up to your hunting blinding and sitting in it and there's a whole ocean. Yeah, and then telling you how to shoot. So you got the right bullets in there? So you got... What do you think you're doing out here, you idiot? You ain't gonna catch it. You ain't gonna shoot any ducks with that shotgun. You need a M16, you know? Oh, really? I didn't know that. Only 48, I didn't know. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. So we'll let it go. We will let it go, folks. We'll let it go, and we'll move on. But if he comes back, I might have to shut the camera off and throw him in. Ay, 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 people, come on. There's a thing called uh, <clears throat> common courtesy. It's lacking these days. And that guy was old enough to know better. Uh, move along. Uh, I can stuff them in there. I would, I'd have to smush them down pretty good, but I could do it. Morning, Caitlin. We're doing a little fishing. Did you catch another one over there? Nope. My daughter's up eight to six right now. I got five points from having the biggest fish caught, which was a mangrove snapper. <clears throat> but the guy's telling guy's telling me to tighten my drag and then telling me I have to light a pound test. Think about that for a minute, fishermen out there. But when we were talking earlier about that awesome pole that got pulled out of the water and went across the bay, that one would have pulled that fish in no trouble. Yes, my daughter is sitting over there. Oh, she did just catch another one. It's now nine to six. That's another mangrove snapper. Ten. Oh, I missed one. So it's ten to six, and I have only really two fish, but I have the biggest. Your setup is perfect for what you're fishing? Yeah. I mean, I would like to have braided line on this, but I went with what I had in my tackle box, you know? And I could have got it in. I could have got it in. But I actually wasn't expecting one that big. Hope you're doing okay. Missing your walks? Yeah. Yesterday, uh, Chicago Brian, we had a Manatee Monday here. I already posted a fork, one of the 4K videos I shot on Clapper, but um, I'll clip highlights out of the live stream. It's apparently mating season. I got in the water. There was at least seven, I think eight, for about an hour and 20 minutes swimming around me. It's pretty cool. Everybody had had a good one. Good morning, Mooney. 
manatees were her awesome yesterday. Thanks. That was pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So I need to uh, probably switch tactics and start fishing for mangrove snapper. Otherwise, I'll have no chance of winning. So we'll try to catch one more on this pathetically light line. That is just insane. And I better record it because it could be a world record, according to uh, Joe Blow. <laughs> Good morning, Hyde Park. What's up, Hyde Park? Good morning, all. My daughter and I are doing a little fishing. Looks like that snowy egret's gonna sneak in behind her and try to steal shrimp out of the bait bucket. Keep an eye on that guy. Sorry I popped in. Love ya. I'll be back. It's alright, Stephanie. We're just doing a little fishing. A little father-daughter time. Yeah, Joe Blow. But he was. He was moving around here pretty quick and didn't really fish much. He only cast it out two or three times. And then uh, went straight for the uh, straight for the garbage can with my fishing pole in it. <laughs> Roosevelt hometown. Oh, nice. Thank you. So this is uh, Stero Bay in southwest Florida, Bonita Springs side of the bay, or of the pass, new pass here. That's Lover's Key State Park over there, heading in that direction is Fort Myers Beach. Heading over that way is Fort Myers. And that right over there is Estero, and over here is Bonita Springs, this way. There you go, you're all caught up. Now, if you just copy and paste the link in my profile and find me on one other platform today, that'd be awesome. Currently uh, getting killed by my daughter in the fishing contest. She's up at least 10 to 6 now. But I've only caught two fish. I just caught one of the biggest one, which is worth five. snowy egrets. Maybe it's mating season for them. That one seems to be chasing that one down. White sand. There's white sand over there a little bit. Uh, there's a dog beach in the distance. You guys can see some dogs running way in the distance there. Do you eat the fish you catch? Um, most of the time we, it's catch and release. If we catch something good enough to keep, I'll keep it. Um, that mangrove snapper I, I, I would have liked to have kept, honestly, in hindsight. But um, they're so small that you don't get a lot of meat out of them. It's easier if it's a big fish. You get a lot of meat. That makes it worth it. 
No tilapia, no. Please, I would love to catch a grouper, man. That would be worth keeping. So would a giant's sheep's head. That would make the perfect fish tacos today. That mangrove snapper actually would have made a pretty good taco. snake bird way out there not as far out as that buoy but to the left of the buoy thanks for the wishing bottles Shelly teach me how to swim I hope I don't go swimming because uh, that would mean I would fall in <laughs> My son caught a glass and Isla Murata broke his pole right in half. I bet those things are massive. Crazy. The fish I had on just a little bit ago that broke my that I broke off. Uh, that one was not anywhere near that big. But it would have taken all the line off of my reel for sure. Good morning. What's up, Tom? Doing a little fishing today. I'm losing right now to my daughter. Is it still 10 to 6? How many you got? 11. Uh, I just a tiny little so she's up 11 to 6. It is beautiful. Well, uh, I think I had a small tuna on that broke off a little while ago, but there's also snook out here. Uh, Red drum or redfish. Mangrove snapper, sheep's head. The bigger sheep's head typically this time of year go out where it's a little bit colder. But I caught a pretty good sized mangrove snapper. This is brackish water, Jim. Uh, this leads out to the Gulf of Mexico right on the other side of the island right there. Um, but that's the pass that leads right out. Um, <clears throat> the water that feeds into here is from the Imperial River and Estero River. So yes, it is brackish, and the tide is going out right now. We're almost at low tide. When I was in Florida last month, we caught shiners and then fried them up. Mm -hmm. I like smelt. I don't know your daughter, but I'm cheering for her to keep winning. <laughs> Kelsey, that's not nice, Kelsey. Here, I thought you were screenshotting. It's tough for me. I didn't know it was my daughter, the team that you were on. But it's okay. It's the only thing she wins at. But I know way more about fishing than she does, and it apparently has nothing to do with that. I mean, look at that one guy here. He knows everything about fishing, and he caught nothing. So, <laughs> uh, I crack myself up sometimes. All right, I think I'm going to go in the shade. I think I'm going to start fishing with the rest of the shrimp if she hasn't used them all. And we'll uh, we'll put this we'll put this pole a little bit closer over to there. I think at this point you're both winning. Yeah, this is true. This is true. You're working and we're not. I had to go, so I probably missed some good pictures. Sorry. <laughs> Twenty-four and a half thousand likes. Wow, people want to see fishing, I guess.
fishing with my dad. Yeah, she loves doing that. My son isn't a big fisherman. He's starting to like it a little bit more now, but when we used to take him with, it was like we drug him, and he was just waiting for it to end. And my daughter and I would fish for a while, so. Tapping away. Thanks, Gerald. <clears throat> she likes it more than I do. To the bait shop apparently scooped up with the shrimp. 
This is a good view? Okay, you like that? Alright, so there's the little guy. Cute little tiny guy. He needs to get in the water though. Thanks, Kelsey. Well, it's our last day together until she moves away forever. So thanks. Good morning, Ashley. Left, folks. I'm gonna have to end this pretty soon. It looks like we don't have a very good connection here either. Well, now we do. Less is more, yeah. At what cost, though? Get publicly shamed on your live stream by. Joe Blow, <laughs> the expert fisherman who caught nothing, or at least give yourself a chance to catch something. I'd rather give myself a chance to catch something, but I also like to use whatever I have available. Forever, my son finally returned to me. He's 22. What was that? Is that a fish or a dolphin? Just jumped right there. Which were the pinfish is. <clears throat> My son came back this summer. He's 20. Came back for a couple months until he moves into his other place. And no, not forever, but she is going to be in Orlando. So, 
Did I miss earlier? Did someone say something to you about your fishing? Oh yeah, this. So I had a, I had to put my pole with my live fish, my pinfish. I actually was using that garbage can as my rod holder. And then this guy showed up down here and he started heading over there. So I walked over there, so I basically let him know, hey, I got my pole here, I'm fishing. He didn't care, he set his poles down next to it and started fishing right out where my line was. So I reeled my line in and I moved down to the left there. I started fishing uh, down on the bank over there. Then he came down on the bank and started fishing right over my line. Almost got tangled on mine. So I moved again back to where I was. And then I hooked up with a huge fish. And then he immediately started uh, telling me what to do and critiquing me and uh, telling me I had to tighten my drag and even though I'm using really light mono line. And uh, I had to start tightening it because the fish was running forever and I was running out of line. So eventually the line broke and then he basically uh, told me that I'm basically an idiot using such line and if I needed leaders he'd give me some leaders. And, He's lucky we were live streaming. He got pushed in. <laughs> so basically, um, he was terrible luck. He basically interfered, got in the way, and uh, ultimately uh, brought the vibe way down, and uh, the fish broke off. So we blame it on Joe Blow or Negative Ned or Kevin. But he, um, just want to point out, didn't catch anything while he was down here. And uh, I've caught two fish, you know, but my daughter's caught, what, 10, 11? <laughs> I was about to be upset, had to go, and couldn't find you when I came back. <laughs> you put the starfish back, right? Yeah, I put the starfish back. Thanks for the follow, Raymond. Folks, you can copy and paste the link in my profile. Find me on all platforms. We don't normally fish, but I told you guys I do fish sometimes, and I would take you with me, so I'm not a liar. Not a liar. People need to mind their business, cost nothing to be kind. I know, this guy, he was a know-it-all. And then telling me, what are you trying to set a world record? And then even after I walked away from him after the fish broke off and I was irritated because it was a nice fish. He had to come by and then tell me again, make sure to record it, even though he knows I'm standing here recording. Because that could be a world record. Man up your word, I am, I'm one of those. He really crossed your line. He did, Jim. If you would have seen the look on this guy's face, it was uh, it was the smugness, the arrogance. I, and I, I, I don't uh, do well with that because you've heard me say before, everybody's the same. Everybody's equal, you know? Nobody's better than anybody else. I don't care what you do for a living. But this guy, you know, he's better than everybody. But, if I would have still caught the fish, wouldn't have upset me as much, Jim. But he definitely wrecked the mojo. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, D. Sounds like someone I know, but I heard his voice. It didn't sound like him. I've never seen him down here before. That's the people my dad tells me to say thank you for your advice and then look busy. Well, he came over and told me all of that, and I just told him good luck, and he was like, what? Because I... I said it in a certain way. And I wished him luck again. Like I tell you guys, Irish luck sometimes doesn't really mean luck. And I think he picked it up. And he said good day. I hate how it all He was. He, he's, an, he's got the Napoleon complex for sure. But you see somebody fishing with gray hair, don't tell them how to fish. I'm just saying. They probably have a good idea. Especially if they're already hooked up with the big fish and you're not. Or act like you got a phone call. I'm going to use that. Thank you for your advice. Toodaloo. <laughs> oh, like that. It was your ex. Yes, it was your ex. Next time I see him, I'll push him in just for you. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can catch that.
watching from San Francisco. What's up? Good morning, Nashville. Hey, Justice. <laughs> Can you swim, then push them in before they answer? <laughs> Be more like a check. I would check them into the water. My bad. They got too close. Oh, Morgan McLeod. There's a Morgan right there. That's a Morgan. That's a I'm beating my dad in the fishing contest smile going on over there. So, I'm going to have to step it up. We're just doing a little fishing today. My daughter wanted to fish one last time before she moves up to Orlando. <coughs> so that's what we did. And you guys have asked for it for months for me to take you fishing. So here you go. We're pretty close to ending the live stream though. So enjoy the last five minutes or so here. Remember to copy and paste the link in my profile. That takes you to my link tree so you can see the links to all my platforms. Give me a follow on one other one today. Rumble or YouTube or Clapper, where I also go live. But uh, check it out. Next up, boat ride. I uh, know. I can't wait to do a boat ride with you guys. We got a bite. Hopefully he comes back and finishes it. Oh, here he comes. He's back. He's back. Took so many pictures, although you're probably going to get tired of looking at them, but I think I got some. Nice. I like the screenshots. I don't uh, have a time to always go back and clip even highlights out of a lot of these live streams. So I like seeing the screenshots. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy, you were gonna eat him. Oh, he's eating him, he's eating him, come on. Have a great year at school this year to your kid. Oh, thanks, Connie. Did y'all get to go to Top Golf? No, we didn't. Because our son, my son had actually.
but I had a great day. So the manatees were awesome. That really uh, that set me up for success. <laughs> but my wife is really tired. She had worked so hard. She had to fill in for another job at the, their company for several months until they could hire a replacement. So she was she was burning the candle at both ends. So she needed some downtime. But uh, we should, uh, we're going to do a live stream from a park in downtown Orlando where we're going to take the dog when we're up there after we drop my daughter off. And uh, so that should be pretty cool. There's some pretty good uh, skyline background there. All right, I sent them all. I got to go. Have a great day. All right, thanks, Kelsey. Take care of yourself. Have a great day, and thanks for being in here. Probably be in the afternoon on Friday. Early afternoon, afternoon time frame. She moves in around between 11 and 12. And so it'll be sometime after that. You can do it, you can do it. We almost had 30,000 likes. I'm sure we had quite a few people in here. It was a good time had by all. Where are you at, San Carlos? No, <clears throat> New Pass. Locations. What did I miss there? That was a military helicopter. I don't. I don't think so. I, I got the vibe. It might be like a tourist helicopter, maybe. But I mean, it could be police too. They're cruising over that way too. But I, I'm thinking maybe it's sightseeing helicopter, possibly. It's a big helicopter, though. Bigger than the ones I see down here a lot. Load. Load? So again, uh, copy and paste the link in my profile. Find me on all platforms. Or at least one other one today. I challenge you to find me on one other platform and say hello on that one. Hopefully keep the same name that you have here. It makes it a little easier on me. But if I have to keep a track of five to six names, I will do it for one person. But you can hit the follow button be part of the Bob Squad or the 808 Squad. It stands for Bob. Not Hawaii, but it is paradise down here. Southwest Florida. This is a Stero Bay. Looks like it's about to storm. Over on Fort Myers Beach. So shout out to Fort Myers Beach. Heads up. And I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. We're going to keep fishing for a couple more minutes. But I'm sure I'll lose. If I win, I'll let you guys know. If I lose, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> You're new to Clapper? Yeah, thanks for joining it over there. Appreciate it, Gerald. It's nice. Uh, it's for 17 and over. I mean, some of the stuff is adult content that's out there, too. You might stumble into some stuff. But uh, I like my chat group. I give people a heads up when I'm going to be to different places. And uh, so join that um, if you can, everybody. And I do go live there as well. I was going to go live there this morning, but I don't think I got enough juice in the battery just to do that. I live by Lockheed Dobbin Airport Military Base. I hear it every day. Yeah, but the, the side of that one had some um, yeah, pretty, pretty paint job on the side of it, so I don't know about that, that one. But I used to actually... Uh, work in military customer support with uh, M1A1 Abrams and Blackhawks and Chinooks. But I don't think that was military. But who knows? Who knows? Anyways, folks, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks.
thanks for uh, fishing with us here in paradise today and thanks for walking with me once again <laughs> uh, stay tuned for the highlights of the manatee but there's already a video of them on uh, clapper too if you want to check it out but hope everybody has a great day thanks again for joining me and the uh, final numbers were 11 oh she's got something oh, there you go final number says she's got 12 fish to my six points 11,200 viewers 37 new followers poor gifters thanks everybody for that 31,000 likes not too bad for a guy and his daughter doing a little fishing underneath a bridge here in southwest florida caitlin thank you for the rose i hope you guys have a great rest of your day we're gonna get some lunch here in a little bit but i might as well show you the last fish right this one is uh this one this one is uh not doing so good folks hopefully you can you want to do anything hopefully you can save that shrimp all right everybody enjoy the rest of your day thanks again until we meet again hasta la vista mm, old 41 i haven't eaten that old 41. take care y'all god bless